Because, well, because what happened was a guy on the Yamaha, he was on a Honda Rebel. There was a guy in front on a Honda Cruiser. Well, uh, Yamaha Cruiser. Mm -hmm. Guy went in. So this was the, you had to accelerate, so you stay in, stay in first, accelerate the 15, and then at the cone, past the cone, break. The guy, the guy did that. He had... Well, I think what happened was he either either he turned his, his handlebars or I'm gonna guess he probably used too much rear brake because that's what it looked like. Because hmm. he didn't go over the handlebars. It sounded more like he went... This was after I had done mine because I was like the second person in line. So hmm. I was in like... I had already done mine. What I heard was... I heard the bike kind of... I heard, because I can see what a bike does, I heard the bike slide out. That's what I heard. Hmm. And that's what apparently a lot of people said they saw it. The guy, the bike kind of, the back end slid out on him and he fell. Ooh. Uh, but in the MS course, you fail because you dropped the bike. Yeah. Uh, on the te on the test, you, you fail the course if you drop the bike. And the guy was pissed. I, I feel a pain too because he threw his glove on the ground. I was like, oh, damn. I was like, yeah, I feel bad. And this is the guy who apparently he was a. He worked at like a. a gotcha. thing. I think it was a junkyard that, had, that dealt with insurance stuff. Mm hmm. And so he also knew a little bit more about bikes. He was apparently also in one of the gray zones. Here in Virginia, hmm. and just in the U.S. in general, where you can apparently, you don't have to have an M2 if you have, I think, if you just have a thing and you just ride with somebody who Ooh, has an M2. I can't win. So if you apparently there's a gray zone that you can ride with somebody. That has an M2, and you don't have to have an M2 as long as you're riding with someone who's over 18 and has the M2 license. Huh. Uh, and he apparently got caught by a cop who hated motorcycles Just... when he was by him, and he was by himself. Yeah, that, that's usually the kind of oh, shit yeah. that happens. Oh yeah, yeah. His story was uh, the reason why he had to do an M M2 uh, class was because apparently he. he the guy who was a tow truck driver uh, had told him that had taken his bike uh, and all that. He said, "Oh yeah, I get that he had gotten calls from that same cop that he just doesn't like motorcycles in general. Mm. Like apparently that cop just doesn't care. He finds any excuse to fucking take your bike. That doesn't stuff. surprise me. They'll get oh, away with whatever the fuck they want." I hate cops to do that. I'm like, fuck y'all. <laughs> like, They're the reason that kind of gives, you know, gives a lot of people who will say defund the police a good reason to say it. When they're saying, when they're doing and saying shit like they do. Like, I, I kind of agree. That is kind of bullshit. Just because you hate a certain type of people, you can't just do mm. that. Like, or as one person was saying on Reddit, how, uh, a cop came over to her and was trying to trick her into getting like arrested to get searched by saying, you know, I don't know. nope, you don't appear oh. drunk, but if you did, you're doing oh, yeah. a really good job of faking it. And oh, then yeah, she didn't respond, so then he muddled it to himself, and then he said it again because he was trying to make her laugh as if to admit that she's drunk and pretending not to be. There's a lot of uh, scum there. there. Was, oh yeah, there was a there's a video out there. I don't know if Did you see that? on Motor Madness or not. But there was a there was a cop. There was, so apparently there was a group ride. They were at night. A guy's bike starts burning. Mm hmm. And they were like, "Hey, let's pull over." They all pulled over. They're over here trying to trying to figure out what's what's wrong with the bike, why is it burning, and all that. Mm hmm. Cop comes over. Walks over. They all thought, so they all would chill. The cop says, "All right, who's got the weed?" <laughs> and they all start laughing because they thought he was—he was just messing around. No, the cop was serious. 
No. He he no. clearly he clearly grew up in that generation where they oh, feel that weed makes you dangerous and want to kill oh, people on. and eat things. What ha hold on. What happened was because it gets even we it's, it's even stupider. What because after all that he starts going in because he, then he starts saying oh yeah because then they start saying oh yeah there's no one here it's just the only other guy who like his friend which is why what he was selling. And the cop said, oh yeah, no, I know the difference between a burning bike and a fucking uh, weed. And I'm like, clearly you don't. Clearly like, no. Clearly you don't. Yeah, clearly not. And also, and then after that, he starts to admit, oh yeah, I don't smell anymore. And then he starts harassing the bikers for no reason. Yeah, that's that's typical police like, behavior. He going, like, he's got going around the bikes, he's like, whose bike is this and all that. And yeah. going, you can't do this, this, and this. I'm like... There's um, a thing where a chap I watch was getting done by an off-duty cop who decided to f complain to his buddies about him. Like, do you ever... Do you ever have you heard of a person called uh, Whistling Diesel? That's the thing I hate. I hate those type of cops. I hate when they think... I'm a, I'm a cop. I can do whatever the fuck I want, even if yeah. I'm off duty. No, you're a civilian. Yes. Once you're off duty, you cannot do shit. You, like, yes, I understand. Yes, I know you're allowed, to, as a cop, I know you're allowed to have police lights on your civilian car because some cops don't take the uh, units to, to home, so they have to use the thing. Hmm. And some of them are allowed to use things in case they need to get to a call. Because some of them are allowed to take their uniforms off. Yeah, for like emergencies and shit, yeah. And so, they were like, yeah, well, you're allowed to get these if you need an emergency. Some of them well, use the that. Some of those fuckers use the, use the fuck out of that. And I'm like... Mm. You know, it's only used for emergencies, right? You can't just yeah, but over the thing is, nobody off. nobody calls them out on it because they've got unions that have their back no matter what they do. Actually, no, though. Actually, have been uh, court cases of people in in the states. Uh, I don't know about other places in the UK. No, I'm specifically uh, referencing the states. Yeah, here in the states, there are some people who actually have taken these cops to court and shit. And sometimes they Not many have been successful though. No, but there have been some that actually have been because... Yeah, obviously. Uh, because the, most of it is bullshit. Like, uh, I think the only ones that have been successful are the ones who actually are like the... Off to the ones that get publicized. Well, some of them are the, the ones that people think. The ones that lose are most of the times people who confuse an undercover unit to a guy who's off duty trying to get to the thing. And that can get confusing sometimes. One thing that gets people in trouble is a uh, Massive misconception that oh, if you're an undercover cop, you have to tell me, and that's not the case. No, not, not at all. Not. How how stupid of a bloody law would that be? Oh, no. you're undercover, but you have to tell me. Yeah. That defeats There's... the purpose of being undercover. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> there was a there was a uh, hold on. Oh yeah, there's a recent there's a recent one that was this year. A Unmarked unit. Mm. I want to know because he clearly was like a noob, or he really was like a brand new officer that just got on the force. For some reason, his department thought it was a good idea to give him an unmarked charger. Of course it was. And I'm like, why? One, why did they get? Because he's speeding. By the way, the cop was speeding too on the highway with no lights. Of course he was. The biker was speeding too. Guy admitted that on the video. So this was his guy's camp. The guy, the biker who got who hit him, who got hit by him. Um, yeah, he he admitted that he was beating, but he was also trying to pass the cop because he had no idea what the fuck the cop was doing. Hmm. Cop 
So, the one thing they teach in the MX, if somebody like slowing down in your lane, is to look at your exit. Exit track. Where the go is so you don't hit them. Hmm. You can't slow down in time. This comp. They're both going, I think, 80. I'm gonna guess the highway is like 60, 65, maybe 70. So they're going about 80. Um, it's top. Because he thinks, because he is this biker, apparently is interrogating him. He thought it was a good idea to slam on the brakes and also block the exit strategy of the biker. On a highway. Yeah, that sounds like a cop to he, me. Hold on, hold on. He was in front of the biker. He slams on the brake and also swerves to keep the biker from leaving or having that exit bend. Hmm. And the biker slams right into him. And the cop goes, gets out of his car. Why are you, why are you fucking following me? Why you, you just rear ended me? I'm like, you didn't rear end you. You fucking. Stopped and blocked his exercise, dude. And he had no lights. He didn't turn on the lights until like way after, like, mm. he had slowed down, almost breaking the. uh, break enough for him to hit him. Yeah, but, so he re landed the cop because the cop wanted to be stupid. Um. I think they said. I think the guy said that they are in the process. Of actually, so I think they have the cop on temporary leave hmm. because I think they have him under investigation. Yeah. And I, I, I really hope he gets fired. And also maybe if I doubt it, I would love to see him in handcuffs. Yeah, very rarely if it happens. Because that's attempted murder right there. Oh, give you a cop. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're a cop. Oh, that right there is 43 attempted murder right like there. Yeah, um, but like I said, cops don't care about that. It's just murder. Doing killing the tank. <laughs> yeah, you meant to blow it up. I was like, he's not, we're not talking about the tank. Blue robes win. What character is that? Advice from the Skies of Arcadia. Never played that. Very good RPG. Of course, if I you're into RPGs, that's OB. That's what I'm saying, if you're into them. Because if you're not, then, you know, I can understand you're not playing it. Depends. Uh, oh my god, I did it. Oh, brilliant. I, say, I, I got first place on hard. Congrats. Yay. Nice. It takes a while. You should be on the stages that Yay. I'm on. Yay. It's nearly Yay. fucking impossible at times. Gaming. Mm -hmm. You're facing Wreck It Ralph, bro. Yeah. Beat him to a fucking pulp. Wait, is this Wreck It Ralph? Get it, it Choose violence, baby. Sky Pirates, that is. Oh, he just. Did you see that? He, he did a backflip, bro. Yeah. He's trying to style on you. <laughs> you gotta destroy him. Oh, what a hit! Oh, damn it, that's blocked. God oh, damn it. So, shortcuts are bloody cut off.